The HoneyBook contact form is built to capture leads while reflecting your brand. It can be customized and embedded onto your company website or shared via a direct link with no embedding necessary. Either way, when potential clients submit their information via the form, these incoming leads will auto-populate as inquiries in your project pipeline to streamline your process and ensure no lead is left behind. To create a contact form, click the Tools menu, then Contact Form. You can work off the default form we provide or create your own by clicking the Contact Form icon on the left side toolbar, then selecting Add Contact Form. Name your contact form by clicking the title at the top. Then start customizing. You can add questions, as well as content blocks with images and text. Let's start with questions. Creating a new form will start you off with a full set of suggested questions, requesting client name, phone number, project date and type, etc. These suggested questions allow answers to pull directly into the corresponding project details fields of the project that gets created in HoneyBook, so make sure to keep them around if that's helpful for you. You can see which fields will be populated by hovering over the linked icon in the question. A couple questions can't be deleted, like email and name, since this info will be used to create the contact and inquiry in HoneyBook. Otherwise, you can remove any suggested questions you don't need by clicking the trash can. To add a new question, click the plus button. Now, we'll add a custom question, which allows you to request any information within the question formats we provide. Custom question answers will be tracked in the inquiry email and the project's activity feed, rather than in the project details fields. Be sure to check out all the question types to see what works best for your business. Then, you can customize the question text, the answer options, if relevant, and click the gear icon to note whether answering that question is required. In the content blocks options, choose from a variety of text and image formats, which you can further customize from there. For example, when you select text on image, you can click the image icon to upload a new picture or select from your image library. Then enter your text and highlight it to format the font, size, color, etc. Now it's time to make sure your form reflects your brand's aesthetic. Click the design icon to customize things like font, text size and color, background and button colors, and more. Finally, check your form's settings under the settings icon. From here, you can select the inquiry recipients, the team members to whom incoming inquiries will be sent and assigned, and select whether you'd like your leads to see a default thank you message to appear upon submission, or whether you'd like to add a redirect link. When you're ready to share or embed, click Publish. If you'd like to install the form on a website, copy the code you see here and embed it into the page of choice. You can find specific written instructions for some of the more popular websites in our Help Center. If you'd like to share a direct link to your form instead of, or in addition to, embedding on a website, just head back to your toolbar and click the Copy icon under Get a Direct Link. Then, you can share a link to your form via social channels, emails, and more, with no embedding required at all. However you choose to share, any leads that come in through your form will now pop right into the inquiry bucket of your pipeline, making it easy to stay organized, follow up fast, and get booked.